What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got one news for you, one news, one news story for you, and a handful of questions. Let's dive into the tech news story of the day. And it has to do with, I think, a problem Samsung has had for a very, very long time. Um, as you know, Samsung phones have definitely gotten faster and the overall speed and feeling of the phone has definitely improved. And lag is usually pretty much a thing of the past at this point. I remember when I got my first few Samsung phones, they would run really well. And then after about a month or two months, it'd be lag city, they'd get hot, things like that. And it was a software thing because you'd use an iPhone, iPhones didn't have such issues. And a lot of other Android phones kind of did as well. Um, Pixel phones came out and those were nice and smooth. And then again, Samsung kind of is now at a, at, a, at, a, at a level now where there's zero lag, but it, they still don't necessarily feel like the fastest phones on the block. And a lot of it has to do with animations and just overall smoothness of the operating system. Well, it looks like that's going to change. And I mean that in a good way. So here's Alvin. Alvin's text uh, tweeting this out saying, it is reported that One UI 5 will bring significant improvements in animations as Samsung will optimize the animations to run faster and smoother than ever. One UI 5 is scheduled to be announced in October of 2022. So what does that mean for you and me? It means that the Galaxy phones, when they hit One UI 5, should feel very, very smooth, very, very fast. And again, they already do pretty much, but I mean, where I notice it is when I jump on a Pixel phone, Pixel phone feels faster and smoother. Or like a OnePlus phone, that feels faster and smoother. It might not necessarily open apps faster than a Galaxy phone, but just the overall usage of it, day-to-day -day stuff, feels a little bit toned down on a Galaxy phone. So I'm very, very much, in, much looking forward to this. So I'm gonna give you a really good question of the day, and the question of the day is, what in One UI 5 do you wanna see changed, added, removed? Let me know in the comments down below what you wanna see in One UI 5 that would really make you go, wow, they fixed this, or they added this, or they did this, let me know again in the comments down below. With that said, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that bang. First question from Original Ass Place, can you make a video comparing 60 hertz, 90 hertz, 120 hertz? Um, I, I could, I don't even know if I have a 90 hertz phone, I don't, I'm not gonna um, like hack my Galaxy phone to do it. I don't know if I will do that. Probably not, but could I? Yes. Keenan Jackson says, how do you put Spotify on your lock screen? I always had it on my lock screen, but since the update to Android 12, I can't figure it out. I have gone into my settings, no luck, and have deleted all the cache as well. Help please. I believe it's not just um, Spotify. If you go into settings on your Galaxy phone, so settings, lock screen, always on display, and then you're gonna see show music information. I believe it's that one, if I'm not mistaken. Also make sure always on display is turned on. And I think that answers your, your screen, your question. Otherwise, if you're just talking about the lock screen, if you go down to, is it clock style? Nope. Is it widgets? Widgets, go down to widgets and turn on music. I believe that will do it as well. Timothy's asking, is there a technology that can check and keep track of a blockage? Is there a watch or the aura ring that can tra keep track and eye on blockages or is there any that you recommend or will you can detect dehydration? What would you recommend? Gee, I don't think so. Blockages of the heart, I mean, I think you mean, I don't think so. I mean, that's, I mean, does anything? track that unless it's like some kind of actual surgery or anything. I don't know of anything. And dehydration, uh, I don't think there's anything to track that that I know of anyway. Jen's asking, has there been any uh, mention of the S Pen will work on the front screen of the Z Fold 4 as well, just on the main screen like it was on the Z Fold 3? I've gotten this question like three or four times from you guys. I, from what I know, it will not work on the front display. I haven't heard that it will or won't though, but I, my guess is that it probably won't. And our last question comes from Cam O King. Do you think Samsung will ever do a custom Z Fold again in the future, like they did with the Z Fold uh, 2, where you could change the color of the hinge? I think they will. 
Um, will they do it this year? I wouldn't surprise me if they did or didn't, but I think they will it, it make it part of their bespoke um, edition of their devices. Thank you so much, guys. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the word question. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.